I was a brand new senior cameraman in 1964 on this lovely vehicle. Um, and I had a phone call from the producer, Alan Chivers, and he was a bit mysterious. He wanted to keep what we were doing absolutely secret. They were afraid that if it became known that the uh, thing match was being recorded, that people wouldn't go to the match at all. They would lose all 20,000 people in the turnstiles. Welcome to Match of the Day, the first of a weekly series coming to you every Saturday on BBC Two. As you can hear. Kenneth Wollstone-Home was incredible. I worked with Ken many times, um, both on cameras and also later on as a, a floor manager. Normally you'd have a boat or some form of scaffolding rigged in the main stands, giving a high angle halfway on, on the halfway line. Um, and the commentary position was as close to that as possible. Um, a, because uh, if you're rigging for two cameras, you might as well rig for a commentary position as well. And B, it gave him the same eye line as the cameras. And he was uh, quite brilliant at uh, highlighting things that we were seeing on camera. The producer's secretary was sitting to the right on this bench. The producer, director, was sitting in the next position. He was working the mixer desk with the buttons and the, and the faders. As part of the Match of the Day contract with the Premier League, we produce 102 uh, outside broadcasts a, a season. Uh, that's roughly three a week. And one of those three each weekend is a remote operation. So today we're here in Salford at the BBC Sport headquarters and uh, our outside broadcast unit is down at, at Bournemouth on the south coast in, in Dorset. Um, we plug in all the cables for audio, uh, cameras, vision and it goes into this box behind me and this gets routed all the way through to uh, the S Rock in Manchester. We produce a world feed this afternoon, so although this game isn't being shown live here in uh, the UK, it is being shown live in upwards of 100 countries around the world. Good afternoon, Chase. Good afternoon, everyone. It is tense down here. Two teams, of course, in trouble at the bottom of the table. Bournemouth still looking for their first win if they don't win. And today, away. Billy went for the audacious and scores the audacious. As, as a director, I think you're always sort of thinking, you know, if I'm a viewer now, if I'm a supporter, what, what is it I want to see at that moment? Six. And you have more toys. And, and I think it's the temptation is obviously you want to use more of them, but I think you have to be judicious as to, it's still important as to when you make that decision to cut to a certain camera or an angle or run different replays. And I think in terms of the actual disciplines, in terms of what people want to see, probably hasn't really evolved at all. People still want best action and those key moments. You know, the people who have come before us and worked on Match of the Day back in the 60s, that would have been in their mind as well, even though they wouldn't have been blessed with quite as, as many, many gadgets as we, we perhaps do these days. Stand by for Match of the Day, Liverpool versus Arsenal.